fine retailers. Paid now. And welcome back to Hannity. Now, the Obama administration is trying to trample all over your Second Amendment rights. And I think part of it has to do with the fact that they're just not really well educated. A lot of people when it comes to understanding the difference between various firearms. But let not your heart be troubled. We're about to give those people a lesson. And for this, we go to the NRA shooting range in Fairfax, Virginia, where world champion shooter Jesse Duff is standing by to uh, give us a demonstration. Jesse, how are you? Uh, congratulations. I'm good, Sean. How are you? I'm good. <laughs> All right, so what do you got for us tonight? We're going to start with an AR-15, I think. We are. Uh, actually, I have a wide variety of firearms. They are all semi-automatic. Uh, they differ in appearance and uses, but they all have the same function. And I'm going to demonstrate that by shooting three rounds out of each just to show the semi-automatic capabilities and also go over a little bit of their uses. And I'm going to start with probably one of the most popular rifles in the U.S. right now, thanks to all the media attention, and that's the AR-15 223 caliber semi-automatic rifle. Now, Sean, this is something that I use in competition myself, and I know everyone says it's so big and scary, but that's simply, these are cosmetic features that have no bearing on the firearms functions at all. And uh, I just want to go over a few of those really quick. This one is, uh, this is the pistol grip that everybody's talking about, and uh, that's simply just for stability. It helps me maneuver through a stage of competition. It has no bearing on how this, how this firearm functions. These rails, these are just for attachments, uh, maybe a flashlight, another scope, something to ease through competition. Uh, this scope right here is in competition. I shoot targets out to five and 600 yards, so I've gotta be able to see it. Um, this is not a collapsible stock, but that, that is one of, the uh, one of the features that they discuss, and that's just to make it uh, a, a better size to fit you. Um, for, in, for instance, my five-year-old nephew uh, harvested his first deer about a month ago with my competition rifle, and he was able to make this fit him. And I think one of the reasons this is so popular, it's such an easy rifle to shoot. It's lightweight, it's maneuverable, and it has no recoil whatsoever. So I'm gonna shoot it real quick so that you can see the impact in the target uh, that it will make. Okay. All right, now that is the I, I, AR-15 I, I that everyone see, is wanting to ban. I want to see what, what you hit. <laughs> Can we get uh, a shot of that? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay, so as, as can you, you can make see those a little bit closer? Targets. Uh, <laughs> I'm only kidding. Well, then you wouldn't be able to see them. <laughs> no, that was a good shot. Uh, and, and you planned Thank it you. like that, right? You, you, you're that good at marching. I did. I did, that was right where I was aiming. <laughs> okay, perfect. All right, well the next rifle I wanna show you, um, this is a more traditional hunting rifle, uh, but just like the AR-15 I just showed you, it is a semi-automatic rifle, meaning I have to pull the trigger each time like you just saw. Now this is a Browning 30-06 caliber semi-automatic rifle, and this is used more so in hunting. Uh, this is a popular round just because of its capabilities at long range distances on big game in the US. So I will show you that one. There we go. That's the hunting rifle. Wow. Uh, you were a little um, off on that last shot, but that's okay. I, I know. I, I probably flinched just a little bit. You were rushing. Okay. Uh, okay. The next uh, gun I want to show you, the firearm, this is a Beretta 12-gauge shotgun, and it is a semi-automatic just like the 30 out 6 and just like the AR-15. Uh, what I'm going to show you is two different shells. One is a slug and one is a waterfowl round. Now keep in mind, this is something that I use in competition as well. I shoot a Benelli M2 12 gauge semi-automatic and this is, uh, it's good for hunting, uh, recreational shooting and also um, uh, competitions like I do. So let me show you that real quick. There we go. As you can see, uh, we have some different sizes in uh, the calibers here. Uh, if you want, I can go down range and show these to you really quick. Um, now, the, the thing I want to show you, the 223, the big, bad, scary rifle, AR-15, this is the impact that the projectile made out of it. Uh, as you can see over here, we have the 30 out 6. It's obviously a lot bigger than the AR-15. The slug is a lot bigger than the 30 out 6, bigger than the AR-15, and then last are this pattern 
I mean, you can see the difference. So yeah. uh, what I wanted to show you was that this is the least of your worries out of everything that I fired today. And this is what is trying, this is what they're trying to ban. So, and, so but everything the, but the, here But the last gun you fired impact. was not mentioned in the ban. I'm sorry? Is the last gun that you mentioned was not mentioned in the ban, correct? The one that did well, the big damage. Well, it is damage. a semi-automatic. Right. Yeah, correct, correct. The, the shotgun was not mentioned in the ban, and this is the damage it does as compared to the AR2, uh, AR-15 2T3 round, which is trying to be banned. Do you have a quick chance to show us the 9 millimeter semi-automatic pistol that you I have? do. I do. Right, I well, can do that really quick. Okay. Uh, what I have to show you is I have a Browning High Power semi-automatic uh, 9 millimeter, and uh, this is it's a very popular uh, handgun around the world, and I will show you um, just what the, the caliber does itself. You can see that one, and I can show you this 45 as well. Um, this is a Colt 1911. It's a semi-automatic semi as well, and I use this in competition. It got its name because it was designed in 1911, five, uh, 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 100 years ago, <laughs> and wow. it's still, this is what I use today. Wow. So... Right. Uh, um, by you the can way, I'm doubling down on my bet. Uh, I'm betting on you, not Bo Deedle. Uh, <laughs> that's great shooting. But you uh, know as what? you can see, one last question before I let you go. Um, a lot yeah. of people hear these names and hear semi-automatic. They're they're really afraid of them. And there are so many weapons that you're what you're really saying is there's no method, logic, reason to what it is that they're banning. Is that a fair statement? I believe that would be a fair statement. Um, the, the things that you spoke about earlier with Asa Hutchinson, it's all cosmetics. It has no bearing on the firing, the functioning of an AR-15. And it's strictly uh, for me to help me through competition. It doesn't make it big, bad, or scary, or worse than one without those features. So I believe that is a fair statement. All right, Jesse, very, very informative. You're a great shot. And uh, uh, I look Thank forward you. to the bet with Bo. Thank you for being with us. <laughs> Thank you. Coming up, when we come back, our studio audience of law enforcement officials, prosecutors, gun rights activists, they sound off, and they will explain why we've got to protect...